Many people are questioning the recent poverty report of the Philippine Statistics Authority. In particular, quite a number are skeptical of the official poverty threshold in 2018, which stood at 10,481 pesos per month. Households whose income fall below that figure are counted as poor in the PSA survey. Those above it are not. This determination is in fact legislated with Republic Act 8425 or the Social Reform and Poverty Alleviation Act. If you break the 2018 poverty threshold down for a family of five, this amounts to about 349 pesos per day per family or about 70 pesos per day per person. Of this amount, more than two-thirds or around 7,300 pesos per month covers food needs. The rest is for non-food needs such as clothing, fuel, light and water, and housing. On food alone, this means that the budget is 49 pesos per person per day. Many say that's unrealistic. So how did the PSA come up with such a figure? The PSA based expenses on the cheapest food items that theoretically could still deliver the minimum nutritional needs as recommended by the Food and Nutrition Research Institute. Now, assuming a 2,000 kilocalorie daily need, the PSA says the daily budget could include such items as eggs, coffee with milk, and rice for breakfast. The most affordable lunch menus are built around mongo and dilis, banana and rice, while dinner, that's fake, has fish or pork, vegetables and rice. Pandesal can also be had for snacks. With the poverty threshold, the PSA reports that poverty incidence has gone down to 21% in the first half of 2018 from 27% in 2015. The poverty threshold and incidence, of course, also varies per region. The NCR has the lowest poverty incidence at 4.9%, while ARMM has the highest at 55.4%. If you drill down into the provinces of ARMM, one could see even more desperate numbers. In Lanao del Sur, for example, nearly 7 in 10 people are rated as poor. In Basilan, the poverty incidence is 65%. In Sulu, it's nearly 66%.